The Austrian capital is one of the great cities of Europe, a modern marvel with history by the bucket load and the architecture to prove it. Here you'll find some elite museums and galleries, legendary cafes, and a sense of grandeur that cannot be denied. Ranked as one of the most livable cities in the world, with its inhabitants enjoying a high quality of life, Vienna is a haven in Central Europe and remains a popular tourist destination. Are you ready to see Vienna? Let's go! Let's start with the Museum's Quartier. The Museum's Quartier, or MQ as it's more commonly known, offers everything from the world's finest egg on shield collection to an array of trendy bars, cafes, and restaurants to a sculpture park come mini golf course. The Leopold Museum, home to 44 shield paintings and various works by Gustav Klimt, Oskar Kokoschka, and members of the Wien Verkestade movement, is one of Vienna's finest art museums. While the Mummock boasts the city's premier contemporary art collection, including works by Andy Warhol and Roy Lichtenstein. The next spot on the list is the Schönbrunn Palace. Standing since the 1600s and holding a major role of cultural importance in Austria, the Schönbrunn Palace is a colossal 1,441-room structure and complex that is the main tourist attraction in Vienna. The Habsburgs have held residence here for many years, and indeed, emperors of Austria have been born in the palace too. The palace itself is an immense building and designed in a Baroque style with a symmetrical main building that has hundreds of windows and statues on the rooftop. Our next tip is also about a palace, the Hofburg Palace. Back in the days of the Austro-Hungarian Empire, the ornate Hofburg Palace was its beating heart. Today, it's the official residence of the country's president and is home to many of Vienna's top museums, attractions, and galleries. And some pretty famous dancing horses, too. A walk through the Hofburg offers a potted history of Austria itself. Learn all about the life and macabre death of Empress Elizabeth, the Princess Diana of the Habsburg Empire. At the Sisi Museum, admire the Baroque splendor of the Prunksaal State Hall at the Austrian National Library and see where Hitler held his Anschluss speech. The Rathaus is also worth a visit. Vienna is full of historical and significant architecture and the town hall located on Rathausplatz is a fine addition to this collection. A later addition to the city, the Rathaus, was constructed in the 1800s in a neo-Gothic style to accommodate the offices of the mayor for an ever-increasing city population. Similar in style to the town hall in Brussels, the Rathaus has five towers, the middle of which is the largest and is topped by the iconic Rathaus Man statue. What could be a more enjoyable way to experience Vienna than having a fun-packed day at the Prater Amusement Park? The Wiener Prater Park was once a hunting ground that developed into a public space for food stands and small amusement stalls. It now hosts the impressive amusement park and is free to enter. You pay for the individual rides instead. Inside the park is a multitude of rides and stalls, including a huge Ferris wheel, bumper cars, carousels, and hair-raising roller coasters. There are also such things as shooting ranges, a waxworks display, and a light gauge railway to keep you entertained. What you cannot miss is eating a piece of soccer torte. Vienna's signature cake, a Moorish combo of chocolate sponge, dark chocolate ganache, and apricot jam, is more than just a dessert. Its recipe is a closely guarded secret. Sure, you'll find this sweet treat in cafes across the city, but there's a fierce rivalry between Hotel Soccer and Demel over claims to the original recipe. They've even gone to court over it. Now you are perfectly prepared for your first or next travel to Vienna. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to give it a thumbs up and to click the subscribe button for more travel content. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.